In the heart of the North Island is a special destination where you can experience for yourself some of New Zealand's unique wildlife. The Otorahanga Kiwi House and Native Bird Park has been operating for over 40 years with dedicated staff patiently working towards our country's continued wildlife conservation. Hi Anthony, so tell us a little about what has driven your organisation towards the conservation of native animals for the past four decades. Well basically the Kiwi House was started um, by a group of individuals who noticed that there wasn't a whole lot of Kiwi breeding going on for the purposes of release into the wild and they also noticed that wild numbers were slowly decreasing so they started the Kiwi House primarily to breed Kiwi in captivity for release. Um, since then we've just grown and expanded into a whole lot of other different native species and also for breeding and release at the same time. So good. So what does the Otorahanga Kiwi House have to offer visitors? Um, we have a, a lot of, of different native species for them to come see. There's the Kiwi in the Nocturna House which is very special for people. That's kind of the highlight for a lot of people is seeing the Kiwi. Um, we also have the feeding in the Barrier Rye which was um, people can come and we'll just give them some seed and the Kakariki will come and land on their hands and have have some food there and we've also got the Kia and Kaka feeding which is very informative. Um, our keepers um, have a little talk that they do with, with visitors and they educate them on the plight of the Kia and the Kaka as well in the world. So why do you think the Otorohanga Kiwi House is a great place for families to visit in the school holidays? Uh, we've just got a very friendly attitude here, everyone's really calm and relaxed and we'll, we'll always you know, take time out to talk to people and answer any questions they have. Um, always lots of different feedings to see. And what has been the greatest success for the Otoronghanga Kiwi House? Our greatest success would still be our continuation to breed Kiwi and we're still releasing them to this day into the wild. Um, we're also now starting to take more of an educational role, so we've got a new classroom set up over the road um, and that's a lot of school groups come in that and we have an education um, person here who, who takes the school groups and gives them a talk and it's really good especially for the kids just to get them learning about conservation and, and what they can do because you know, at a grassroots level it's really important to get kids involved into this sort of stuff so that, that for me would be our greatest success is the education. We know the Kiwi sleep during the day and wander out at night which isn't the most convenient time for us visitors here at the Otorahanga Kiwi House but we don't have to worry about that with the nocturnal house so let's go and check it out. Hi Louise, now can you tell us about how day and night are reversed in the nocturnal house? Well when the place was first started, the chappies they just wanted to put a piece of bush inside, have it quite natural, so during the day it's moonlit, so people can see the kiwi quite easily. When we head off at home at night, we it's all on a timer system, the lighting, and the big UV lights just turn on as, you know, to symbol the daytime for the kiwi, and of course they head off to bed and and then when we come back in the morning, it just dims back down to moonlight again. So it's kept quite natural. Great, now I understand that you have quite a special relationship with Atu, the great spotted Kiwi. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Uh, I've worked with her for a long time. She's almost 13 years old and I've worked with her for 12 and a half years. So we do have a very special bond. Um, she's very friendly. Most of the time Kiwi don't really become friendly with humans, but she's an exception. <laughs> Uh, I can pat her, sit on the ground with her just about, and she's really quite lovely. As for the rest of the staff, they do get a bit of a hiding from her. She tends to kick them and hiss at them and hold on to their clothes with their beak so, you know, they can't get away, and then she just constantly kicks them till they get out. Yeah, so she does. She is very special, though. So why do you think the Otorohanga Kiwi House is a great place for families to visit in the school holidays? Uh, there's loads of things to see and do. Um, you know, specifically the, the feeding times for the kiwi, they get to see them up nice and close and see the different moods that obviously the kiwi have. Um, the kia and kaka feeding is quite good. The walk through aviaries, the kakariki walk through aviary is really good as well. Um, also the big walk through aviary uh, and also the eel feeding. There's loads to know about eels that's just people don't know about them. So you know, there's plenty to see and do, yeah. 
The Otorohanga Kiwi House in Native Bird Park is a fantastic day out for the whole family. They are located at 20 Alex Taufa Drive at the northern end of Otorohanga and if you want to find out any more information visit their website kiwihouse.org.nz.